Hey everyone, I'm Saurabh Bhatia. I'm a product manager on the Microsoft 365 team. I think this is the first time I'm presenting with this audience, so thanks thanks for having me over. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about how we are trying to extend teams and, and bring this concept of personal tabs across Outlook and Office.com. This was uh, previously announced at Ignite, so if you were tracking those announcements uh, at that point, it, this will be a little bit of a refresher, but if you aren't familiar with this, then I hope you take away uh, some of the key points and start considering how you can start building your apps across all these hosts. So uh, let's start off with uh, what are personal tabs and teams, right? They're basically just web apps that are scoped to a single user. Uh, they can be pinned on the left pane so that you can easily access them. Users don't have to leave Teams in order to access the app's capabilities. You're right within Teams, and, and you can just continue doing your work in, in Teams itself. Uh, now, in a hybrid workplace, people are often working in multiple applications. In addition to using Teams, they could be using Outlook to send emails or Office.com to collaborate on documents. And that's one of the key reasons why bringing tabs to Outlook or Office.com will help bring your application to where people are already working. Uh, it lets you provide a better connected workspace for a more focused and uh, in, you know, increased productivity scenarios. And we wanted to make it really easy for developers to extend their apps so that they can show up across Teams, Outlook, and Office.com. You can write your app once and then choose to deploy it to any of these hosts. So what I'll do now is I'll just switch over and just show you, you know, how easy it is to, to do this. Uh, hopefully you can still see my screen. Yep. So I'll be taking this uh, sample app, to-do app. It's on uh, Teams FX samples. And uh, this was initially started off as a Teams only app, but I'll talk a little bit about how you can extend it so that it also runs uh, across uh, Outlook and Office.com. Uh, so all this app is doing is it shows up as a personal tab, and then it's uh, you know giving you an example of how you can add to-do items and track that in Teams. Uh, I'll switch over to VS Code using the Teams toolkit. Hopefully, people might be familiar with it. If not, it's a great way of uh, you know amazing tooling to get started with building your apps for Teams and now for Outlook and and Office.com too. Uh, just taking the sample app. Uh, and I believe Michelle will be <laughs> linking these uh, uh, examples in the chat itself, so and we'll we'll be sharing those out too. So uh, with the sample app, there are two key things uh, I've done here. One is uh, there's a manifest uh, which defines what the app does, uh, and by default, you know it only runs in Teams. The key thing I'm updating here is just the manifest version. This is still in preview, so I'm updating it to M365 Dev Preview. And that indicates that this app is now going to run uh, across Outlook and Office.com. The second part of it is, let me just pull that out. The second part of it is I'm going to start referencing Teams JS 2.0 beta. Uh, this is the newer version of Teams JS that is now compatible across uh, all, all these host apps. It's not just running on Teams, but it can also run in Outlook and and uh, office.com. So just with these two updates, I can actually now run the app and I have that already running so that you don't have to wait for the F5. Uh, and here is the app. It's sort of pinned to the left rail in Teams. I can add tasks to it. Another to-do item added from Teams. Uh, and then that same app uh, will show up uh, in office.com itself. Uh, added to the left rail over there. Uh, I'll just refresh it because it's not anything fancy. It's just a web app. And the thing that I just added over there will now show up uh, on, on office.com too. So as an end user, uh, you don't have to you know, keep switching between apps. It's the same app that's available across Outlook, across Teams. I, I missed showing Outlook over here, but it's the exact same app. I can check you know, this item is done in Outlook and that thing automatically will get synced with Teams or with Office.com. So one app runs everywhere, automatically shows up. Uh, I didn't have to change any code from that existing Teams app to make this run across uh, all these hubs, uh, primarily because this specific app isn't really using any hub-specific capabilities. This was you know, just a simple to-do application. Uh, in the Next couple of, I think we're planning to come back and show some more demos. Uh, we'll be showcasing how you can take uh, uh, existing Teams app and 
utilize host capabilities that are specific to, say, Teams or Outlook or Office.com and deliver differentiated experiences across these. So that's a very quick demo. Hopefully that interests you in, in uh, trying to build these apps. I will flash some useful links here and we'll also uh, uh, put that in, uh, in the chat and happy to answer any questions. Taking a look at the chat, I do see a question from Russell. Can the app get access to the mailbox? Sorry, but if you want to speak to that. Uh, yeah, there's um, uh, it, there's a couple of capabilities around composing mail that we can talk about. It's not really accessing emails, if that's what you're interested in at the moment. So the app could kick off a uh, uh, mail and let you compose a mail. Uh, it's not really letting you search emails at the moment, but that could be something we go look at in the future. Yep, and just for uh, things like that, um, you could think of uh, Microsoft Graph APIs as a way to go and access specific user data. So if you're talking about Teams chats or files or emails, groups, anything else like that would be something that I'm um, just, again, using existing Teams functionality, the, the SDK stuff uh, to go and access that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, th that's a good point. Yeah, you could, you could just leverage Graph and pull that data in, and then this ends up being a nice way of just showing that information right within uh, the host application. I see another question from I think it's Masoon. Um, does this have full sync with M365? I'm not sure I understand the yeah. question specifically. If you want to type some more into the chat window to um, give us some more details on that. Uh, and then Nick has a comment about uh, need a UI framework which detects if it's in Teams or the rest of Office and shows either North Star or standard Fluent UI. Any comments on that, Saurabh? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of things. I'll uh, quickly switch back. Um, so uh, we do give give you information about which host you're running in. So I'm running in Teams, I'm running in Office, and based on that, you can kind of switch over and, and show the right UI. Uh, there's a few improvements we are looking at. Um, right now, you'll get kind of the context of the host app and the team that it's running in. Uh, you know, uh, would love to chat offline maybe on, we are trying to look at how we extend that capability so that uh, you, you almost get all the information about what kind of teaming the host app is using and you can adapt to that. So thanks so much for sharing that. And it looks like Masoon said uh, Michelle shared some answers on his questions. So I think we're good there. So I really appreciate this. Great to see kind of the first peek at this. And yes, we do have a couple of uh, future sessions that will be lining up um, to dive a little bit deeper into this. Uh, appreciate the links being shared and uh, looking forward to folks being able to, uh, to share more about this. Thanks so much, Sarb. Really appreciate right. you being able to share this in here. Thanks, folks.